And with 53 come from behind victories this year, they were going to need number 54. Albert Pujols putting the cards up 1-0. Nothing new for him. Pujols 6 for 10 against Perez in the regular season. Lifetime. Bottom two, same score. Nobody out. Jim Edmonds in the box. Edgar Renteria trying to steal third. Perez running over to pick him off, but then he drops the ball. And Renteria <laughs> is allowed to get back to second. What happened there? Well, uh, Perez simply just let it slip out of his hand. So Renteria gets new life and allowed to go back to second. So Perez gets Edmonds swinging. All right, take a deep breath. Two batters later, Perez striking out Mike Matheny. Inning over, out of trouble. Third inning we go. Larry Walker, one for 15 in his career in the regular season against Perez. Bottom three, two outs, and Larry Walker, the three-time batting champ, acquired August from the Rockies, changes his personal history with that solo home run off of Perez. Cards up, two to nothing. Three batters later, Renteria. Three for 21 in his last six games. No problem. Two runs would come in. Pujols and Rowan would score. It's 4 nothing now. Perez would say later, those guys in that lineup doesn't care what kind of pitcher you are. They just hit. Jim Edmonds. Oh. Yeah, entered the postseason, believe it or not, John, in a 1 for 29 slump. It's 6 nothing now. Perez gone after 2 and 2 thirds. Bottom four, Mike Matheny. That's deep. That's gone. This team's showing why they led the NL in runs and batting average this year. 7 nothing. Top six, after giving up an RBI triple, Woody Williams striking out Robin Ventura, your pinch hitter. Woody allows eight hits in six innings, and Larry Walker becoming the third Cardinal player to homer twice in a playoff game. What a difference adding him, huh? Card sending the Dodgers to their seventh straight postseason loss. The downfall for the Dodgers, the five runs the Cards scored in that third inning all came with two out. The Cardinals now one of four teams to hit five homers in a postseason game. The Dodgers still haven't won a playoff game since beating the Tony La Russa managed Oakland A's back in 1988. Pedro Gomez now has more from St. Louis. Uh, I'm sure you know, the Dodgers are thinking, Hey, at least we're probably going to get a zero a sending out one swing and there's a run on the board. All of a sudden, you know, an inning that's basically almost over or ended, um, you know, is, is kind of the deciding inning in the game. And you would like to think that, uh, you know, when you have two out, nobody on base, uh, you can keep them from putting a five spot up there. Cardinals hitters two through six were a combined seven for 16 with four home runs and seven RBIs. They carried the load during the season and, at least in game one, showed they're ready to do the same in the postseason. That's our job. I mean, the middle of the line, you, you want to make sure, you know, you you carry, you can't carry your team by yourself. You have to make sure you, you get help from the other guy. It's good because there's a lot of pressure that's spread around guys. Nobody, no one or two guys says, you know, if I don't hit, we don't win. St. Louis's history this season indicated that the middle of the lineup would produce the necessary punch for a win. Now St. Louis is hoping their storied history will help them along as well. In seven previous series against NL West clubs, the Cardinals are 5-2. and two. In St. Louis, Pedro Gomez, ESPN. That's not all, Pedro. The 37-year-old Larry Walker supplants Babe Ruth as the oldest man with a multi-homer game in the playoffs. Now about this pitching matchup. Come Two Dodgers still winless in the postseason since 88. Marquis Weaver, both first-time playoff starters. L.A.'s guy has a plan. Get it to the fella in goggles. I'm going to go out there and, and try to do my job, and that's to hopefully turn the ball over to Eric Gagne and uh, with the lead and, and uh, end up with the victory. All right, well, there's a long way between here and there. Bottom two cards spotted L.A. a run. Edgar Renteria going to try and get it back. Bloops went into right. Milton Badley, who did start. Bradley did start, even though he had the confrontation in the locker room. He's in the game. Misses that one. Gets by him. Renteria into second with a double. Next batter, Reggie Sanders. Lays down the bunt. That's right. Just going to move him over. He might have been he might have been bunt for a base hit there. Alex Cora makes a bad throw, so he's on first. Sanders safe for entry over to third. Throwing's part of the game. Catching's the other part. Weaver tries to pick off Sanders. Ball gets away from Sean Green. Entry scores. Throwing error on your pitcher. We're tied at one. Inning continues. Two outs. Runner on second. Sanders. Tony Womack. Goodwood there. Stays in the park over Bradley's head. Tough day in the field for him. Womack, World Series ring in 2001 with the Diamondbacks and with a triple. Cards are up 2-1. Next batter, Larry Walker. Two outs. Get two homers in Tuesday's game one. Not here. That's inside the chalk. Womack walking home. Cards up 3-1. Walker's into second. We go to the fourth. Dodgers down still 3-1. Sean Green blast off against Marquis. His first career postseason homer makes it 3-2. And the next guy, Milton Bradley, wants to do him one better or at least about 100 feet farther. 
off marquee long. First postseason back-to-back -back homers by the bum since the 81 World Series. And that one off the Boeing sign. And Boeing didn't make a plane that goes that far. It was huge. Take a look at these pitches, huh? By Marquis, bad location is bad for business. He's done after three and a third, ten outs. Still in the top four. Score tied 3-3. Bases loaded for Steve Finley. Last time he had the bases loaded. That was the, uh, yeah, that was October 2nd when he blasted the Grand Slam and gave the NL West to the Dodgers. Could Finley deliver again? Two outs. 3-2. Talk about your payoff pitch in a tie game, huh? And he pops it up. Long pop-up, but still when he's out there, Jimmy Edmonds gloves it. Threat over. Fifth inning. Cards up 4-3. Looking for more bases. Chuck Matheny. He homered in game one. That one's not as far, just as effective. Pujols for Interia score. Cards up 6-3. Weaver does not get it to Gagne. He pitched four and two-thirds innings. Bottom seven. Cards 6-3. Matheny again with runners in scoring position. And again, comes through. Singles left. Two score. Eight, three Cardinals. Bottom of their lineup. Six Raiders. Eight for ten with five RBI. Who needs those big guys, huh? They, they got the two out hits. We didn't. And, uh, you know, Mike Matheny, obviously, he got two big ones against us. Cardinals 8-3, eight, 8-3, three, eight, three, up two games. Bob Lemon said two most important things in life are good friends and a strong bullpen. Yeah, amen to that. Pass the plate. Five Redbird relievers combined to throw five and two-thirds scoreless innings. Once again, cards come up with clutch hits. Seven of the eight RBIs come with two outs. That's 13 of 16 in the series. Hey, could you guys talk more about the game? In order to beat the St. Louis Cardinals, knowing what you have to deal with from two through seven, that's not a very good formula for success to get beat down in that part, that bottom part of the order like that. We really feel like, uh, you know, we sent eight guys up there that really worked the at bats. So um, just tonight, it was one. Of, it was their time to drive in the runs, and our pitchers, you know, they're not soft touches either. But we, I mean, our eight guys, they work it. The thing that we need to continue to do, what we've done all year, is just play good fundamental baseball. Timely hitting, uh, pitching keeping us in the ball game, and uh, great defense. And uh, I mean, it, it feels good to be 2-0. Um, we all know anything can change. Uh, so we just need to stay steadfast on what we've been doing all year long, and that's playing good fundamental baseball. Reggie needs to get a bill for that cap he's got there. You won't find too many smiles there on the 510 or 405 freeways. Angels Dodgers clinched their respective division titles last Saturday. Both are now one game away from elimination. Both have been outscored by nearly identical margins. Yeah, traffic stinks, but the weather's great. This here Saturday, begin at Dodger Stadium, bottom third, scoreless bases loaded, two out, Steve Finley. Well, last time he was in that situation, he had a giant at bat. Doubles down the left field line, two score, Dodgers are up two. Oh, Dodgers starting pitching. 0-2, 14-73 ERA in the two-game series. Jose Lima, though, 9-1 and one at home, fourth inning. Lima gets Larry Walker to pop out to third in foul territory. And the next batter is Albert Pujols, who's 385 career against Lima. He flies out to center. The next batter is Scott Rowland. He flies out to center. Lima retires the two, three, and four hitters on six pitches in the fourth. Now that trio went 0 for 12, bottom four, bartender. Yeah! Sean Green off Matt Morris. Solo shot. Second of the postseason, it's 3 0. Sixth inning. If some is good, more is better. It's Green again. This one to right field, second of the game, and even the governor likes it. Get down. Seventh inning, Lima facing Jim Edmonds. Swing and sway like Sammy K. Eighth inning, still 4-0. Walker, two outs, ground out. Inning up, Lima, as he is known to be, fired up. Ninth inning, two outs, Lima against Edmonds. Pops out to third to end it. Jose Lima, loving it, and he's loving everybody. Feels terrific. It feels great to be a Dodger Blue. The fans deserve it. I mean, this is something I never thought coming from the Independent League last year, being the situation here in L.A. I love everybody. Complete game five hitter shuts out the Cardinals. Four whiffs. Dodgers 4-0. Game four Sunday, O'Dallas Perez. Gave up six and two and two-thirds inning in Tuesday's opener. He starts Sunday night for the Dodgers against Jeff Supan. It's the Dodgers win. A fifth and deciding game will be played Monday night in St. Louis. Saturday in game three, it was the Cardinal hitters who appeared to be in a hurry. Game time, two hours, 23 minutes. The NL's most potent and patient offense shut out on 109 pitches and in the process made Jose Lima look like Bob Gibson. So in their haste to get back to St. Louis and begin the NLCS, the Cardinals now having to spend an extra day in L.A. 
This series, now a series. Game four, time to try. Time to sort out for inspiration. He bleeds Boomer what? Skipper, yeah. Dodger, Dodger Blue. Blue. He can motivate like few others. Bottom first, it worked. Jason Worth, good wood off Jeff Supon. His second postseason homer. Dodgers hit seven in the series, but all solo jobs. Bunch of mosquito bites. Huh? Supon, seven innings pitch, gave up just two hits. In the second, Jimmy Edmonds walked by Odalis Perez. Next guy up, Reggie Sanders. Brent Main throws down as Edmonds tries to swipe the bag. Get a scoring position. Didn't work. So Reggie's now up there and, well, blasted. He could have been a two-run homer. Instead, Reggie cranks a playoff homer for his fourth different team. That's not bad. Could have been 2-1. Instead, he just has his Redbirds even. We go to the third. Larry Walker facing Odalis Perez. 3-1. No. 4 nothing. Scott Rowland, no, four balls. Fifth walk of the game for Perez. Jim Colburn comes out, his son. Plate doesn't move, let's throw strikes. Still in the third, Edgar Renteria. Singles to left. Walker, the Canadian, not he is, comes around to score. That's a 2-1 lead. Tracy's seen enough. He pulls Perez. Two and a third, three hits, five walks, 60 pitches. Ineffective in both his starts this series. Wilson Alvarez in relief. Gets Jimmy Edmonds to strike out swinging. And then Sanders comes up, and there will be no home run this time. There'll be a sit down. So the Dodgers out of third, minimal damage. Trail 2-1. We go to the fourth. We're tied at two, and Fat Albert is up with two on. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, you don't want to give him anything up in the zone because he'll flat rake. Second postseason homer is a big, big fly. 5-2. The dugout certainly likes the pools. 205 batting average in 11 NLDS games entering Sunday. Much better in this series. Bottom four, Alex Cora facing Jeff Supon. Look at Pujols with the glove, huh? Brought the milk carton, and he's not very fast. Quick enough to get over the bag there as well. Jump ahead to the seventh. Still 5-2. Pujols with Walker on third. Pujols. I don't, know, I don't know if it's a victory to keep him in the park. <laughs> Single comes through, two for four, four RBI in the game. Cards lead 6-2. We go to the ninth. Bum, seven in the ninth to win the West against San Francisco. Nothing here. Phil from Jason Isringhausen to Alex Cora. Cards win at 6-2. Take the series in four. You know, I heard Reggie is Mr. October. Maybe Oh, one. the other Reggie. Whatever, here he is. Our team has been resilient all year long. And uh, we have a lot of heart, we have a lot of dedication, and we play good fundamental baseball. So with this team, we never die. We always come out fighting to the end. Albert's been doing it for us all year long, and a big hit for us right there. And, and Jeff, I'm sure, probably had a little bit of jitters pitching at home in the playoffs. Um, you know, he settled down after Albert hit the big blow, and uh, he's been, he has been great all year, and he pitched another great game. And we're just happy to get past the first round. Their lineup is a very stressful lineup to pitch against. There is no room for error. They have a lot of weapons, and uh, they're going to be a formidable opponent, uh, whomever it is that, th that they play against. Yeah, and whomever would that be, huh? It's either going to be the Braves or the Astros. They certainly know Houston well. Cards already won the series with Atlanta. At least got four wins. I don't know if those will count. Lost the season series to Houston, but the last three, late September, when they had nothing to play for, and the Astros had everything to play for.